Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Um, just wanted to give a big shout out to my buddy Levi, who I forgot yesterday in the message um, with the Y sound. So I want to say hello, Levi. I am sorry that I forgot you in that message. Um, today we are um, going to do day number two of our cactus in the water experiment, which is on page 35. So yesterday we soaked the cactus that I made out of sponges in water and today we're going to test them. So this is what I had outside in the sun um, just a few minutes ago. I had the cactus with no wax paper covering and then I had a cactus inside wax paper covering and today we're going to see if they're wet. Um, after being out in the sun without protection. So I have here a green piece of paper for us to test this on. So I'm gonna start by taking, let's see, I'll take the first one, this one off, the one that is unprotected, and just to see if it's still wet, I'm just gonna press it to my my uh, green construction paper gently, and you can see that yes, it is still wet. So on day number two, where it says no wax paper, you're gonna say still wet, definitely, because it is dripping down. Um, and then I'm going to unwrap the one, well, I'm assuming that if the one that was in the sun, unprotected was wet, I'm sure that the one that was in the wrapping protected is still wet too, but let's just make sure, open it up here. Mm. Here it is. Oh, it's very, hey guys, it is very, it is actually dripping wet. I don't know if you can see that, but very, very, very wet. Okay, so is the second one wet? Yes, definitely. So on the wax paper one on page number 35 for day number two, you're going to circle wet. So two um, wet cactuses today for day number two. And I will put this back together and put that out in the sun for you today. Um, today we are wrapping up for math. We are wrapping up our geometry unit. And so I'm sending you a video of um, this story shapes all around and um, in this closed reading companion it wants you to do um, on page 17 look at the pictures that you have seen here I want you to draw the playground sh the shapes that you saw on the playground on the first one and where the squares were and that's going to be in the video that I'm sending you and then on page 18, it says what shapes are at the end of the story and draw the shapes that you see. So this is the picture for the end of the story. The girl riding her bike through the neighborhood with the houses and the dog houses. And again, this is in um, that video that I'm going to send you. Um, and then I'm reading you a story that's in the back of that book called Finding Shapes, and you're going to complete page 19 and page 20 in the Closed Reading Companion. Okay, guys, um, as we wrap up geometry today, if we were in our classroom, I would be giving you a test today. But because we're not in our classroom, I'm just going to give you some activities to do that will kind of assess your knowledge of all the things that we've talked about in geometry. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to start the measurement on, or the unit on measurement. And then after that, we're going to go back to subtraction before we go back, um, in, before we wrap up the school year. Um, the last thing I want to say is on Thursday, I'm going to ask you to do a, a writing piece in your writing journal, an opinion writing piece on whether you like to learn at home or at school better, which one is better for you. And you know everybody's gonna have a different opinion and that's great that's how opinion writing goes um, and I'm just curious how many of you would wish that you were at school today so you could take the test to show how much you know in geometry um, to get those hundred percent that you guys always are, are striving for or how many of you um, are glad there's not a test today so um, just think about that as we prepare for Thursday and I hope you guys have a great day and I also wanted to give a shout out to um, Ivy and David and Catherine and Ethan and Maya M for voting for the froggy books 
Um, in the class story, there was a tie between Halloween and um, Day with Dad. But since I have the Halloween video ready for you, I'm going to send that to you today. And then I will send you the Day with Dad um, tomorrow. And then we'll wrap up um, on Thursday with Ivy's book, um, Froggy's First Kiss. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoy your day. I'm also sending you a link for a yoga um, that you guys are going to be doing um, underwater in the ocean, in the ocean habitat. And that, that's going to go with the other science page that I have for you today where plants grow. Um, and we're talking about the Arctic, the desert, the forest, lakes, meadows, ponds, and rivers, because we're talking about do plants actually grow in water. And in this video where this girl's doing yoga in the ocean, you're going to see some seaweeds. So hopefully that helps you guys with the science too. Have a great day.